Hey, friend Sean from Draft Therapy here, and this is a Beer Brief. If you are unfamiliar with what a Beer Brief is, a Beer Brief is a brief beer review. My long-form videos go to be about 10 minutes. These Beer Briefs, I aim to be at 5 minutes. We don't always succeed, but we're always trying to get better. So, if you are familiar with what a Beer Brief is, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Today, I am looking at a beer from Burial Beer Company out of Asheville, North Carolina. This one is called The End Comes Before the Beginning. It is a coconut porter. It is 6.5%. There's a whole bunch of stuff on the side here that I could read to you, but I will not. This was canned on February 11th, 2022. It's a little old. We're looking at July right now of 2022, but it's a porter. I'm not really too worried about it. On the bottom here, it says the end is near. It's got this panther on it. It's cool. It's got this kind of gold embossed outline of it and the, the panthers, I don't even know if you can see that, but the panther's got a bunch of blood dripping out of his mouth. So let's do what we do here. We're going to crack this and put a nose on it. I picked this up when I was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Getting those portery aromas, not so much I get a whole lot of coconut, but let's go ahead and pour it. Coming dark out of the can, a little bit see-through. You can see through the, the stream a little bit. We're going to just tip that up and letting it fizz there. We got about max one finger of head, but it's dissipating. It's dissipating so quickly I couldn't even finish that sentence and it was gone. But that looks super dark. The top kind of looks oily a little bit. If we hold it up here, there it's leaving like a rim of stuff around my glass here. That's pretty dark. I can, can't really see through it. It's got a nice brown colored on the bulb. This is what I would expect a porter to look like. Let's put a nose on it. Maybe a little bit of that coconut's coming through. I smell like the porter aroma, but I also get a little bit of a coffee and a tiny bit of coconut. Let's go ahead and try it out. Cheers. Always, always, always talk about the mouthfeel first. It's a little bit on the medium side. I was expecting it to be quite a bit more lighter, especially looking at it on the pour. The pour had, you know, it was transparent. It's got a bit of a transparency on the pour. Just expecting the, the pour or the, the mouthfeel to be, be a little bit lighter, but it is a little bit of that medium kind of category. It has a nice, just kind of medium body to it. It, it ni nicely coats your tongue. Let's talk about the flavor here. It does give those kind of strong, roasty, malty vibes. It's not overly roasty, it's not overly malty, but it tastes like, you know, a nice roasty porter. There is a bit of a coffee flavor that comes through a little bit, a little bit of a coconut that kind of peeks through on the finish. It does kind of all you would expect it to do, right? You would expect it to be a little bit smoky, a little bit roasty, malty, and has that nice coconut flavor considering it's called coconut porter. And it does have a little bit of a coffee note that comes through. It doesn't really blow my socks off, but it has a, it, it's a nice porter overall, you know, kind of rounded out. I don't know if, like I said, February shouldn't really matter. This being July, being five months, it should have, shouldn't have taken too much of the flavor off in those five months. But um, I don't know how this would have been fresh, but this is a pretty good porter. It's not the best porter I've ever had. It's absolutely not the worst porter I've ever had. It's not, it's probably the one of the better coconut porters that I've had in a while. Uh, coconut porters can sometimes be hit or miss. This has a nice coffee note that comes through. Those roasty notes come through really well, and that coconut comes through just enough. If you're a person that doesn't like coconut, you saw this on the shelf, and you wanted to try, you know, a port. I don't know why you'd want to try a coconut porter, but if you were so inclined to torture yourself, this one wouldn't be so bad because the coconut is not. It's not. It's not a big strong flavor. So that has been again. What is the title of this? The end comes before the beginning. That's a logical conclusion. A coconut porter from Burial Beer Company in Asheville, North Carolina. That's what I got to say about this one. I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. Again, they're in Asheville, North Carolina. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Cheers.